Why should I, I, the leader of the Blue Whale Heavy Assault Knights, Sir Adon, why do I have to patrol this miserable supply base and its armory? Sir, we were stationed here because the Black Ram Heavy Cavalry were crippled in their last offensive against Midland, sir. Shut up, you cratten! <laughs> This is hardly a position befitting a descendant of the Korbowitz family. Damn it. Commander Adon! Enemy raid! We're under attack! You spineless toad! Who would bother to attack such a remote supply base? <laughs> what the hell? You there! Don't fall back! You son of a bitch! Commander! Damn it! Special 300 year old Korbowitz family fleeing technique. Bakuretsu Fonsai! But, Sir Adon, we lost the fort and all our supplies were destroyed! Silence! Stop prattling, you beetle! Now, withdraw the troop! Yeah! 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 <laughs> Midland's troops were no match for me. Schoolgirls could have staged a better assault. I completely annihilated them. So. Did you confirm that they were totally destroyed? Of course I did, my dear General Boscon. <laughs> you buffoon! I... They are alive, and they occupy the supply base. That can't be! Enough! Waste no time in undoing this disgrace to the Empire. Yes, sir! Do you understand how important this stronghold is? No, no sir! Imbeciles! You should know your history! Now you listen. As a result of Doldry's capture, we could, for the first time, successfully split the enemy lines. And this stronghold was built as our army's staging point for attacks against Midland. Behold this road. This road once functioned as the most important pass for military troops between Doldry and the Kingdom's territory. However, since our military forces seized this bridge, the tide of the war was turned. They were forced to expose the heart of Midland directly before our military forces. According to the secret tactics handed down through the Korbowitz family for 300 years, capture a road and capture the victory! <laughs> well, uh, shouldn't we strengthen our defenses? Huh? Uh -huh. Pah! Of course we strengthen our defense! Look here! If the enemy attacks us, they have to march over this bridge. Therefore, that's where the best soldiers from the garrison will amass! It's a narrow stone bridge, so only one mounted soldier or two can charge at a time. Moreover, Tudor's finest archers will be maintaining their defensive position above the exterior gate. Our archers will easily cut down the leaders of the enemy as they march in one by one. This is perfect. We'll deliver a severe blow against the enemy while escaping any damage ourselves. My scheme is fantastic. Excuse me, sir, but what if the enemy doesn't use this bridge and attacks from our flanks? <laughs> you need not worry. There's no bridge or ford along the river running within eight miles, and the river is wide and deep enough that not even the best horse could cross. <clears throat> but, um... Pardon me, sir. What if the enemy makes a raft? <laughs> As you see, we are in a barren land of rocks and vineyards. It is impossible to make a raft because of the lack of trees. 
Even if the enemy makes a raft, they cannot send many of their troops over at once. Or will they make a raft out of the grapevines? <laughs> Any sign of the enemy? Nothing at all, sir. <laughs> even if hundreds or even thousands of enemies attempt to attack, the elite of the Blue Whale Heavy Assault Knights are gathered here. No one can set one foot in a stronghold under our guard. <laughs> Cease to be vigilant! Uh, yes, sir! Huh? <laughs> They've finally shown their faces. Aye, sir! Now then, fire the cannons into the center of their formation! Sir, it is impossible to reach them at this distance! Then send out the whole unit and tear those rotten kids apart! Sir! Hold on a minute. So, this is their trap. They must realize how difficult it would be to destroy this stronghold. So they're plotting to lead us out into a battle on the field. <laughs> how foolish they are! Such cheap tricks are of no use against the most resourceful commander in the Tudor army. Then, what should we do, sir? We ignore them. What? Let them buzz around all they like. What, what the hell are they doing there? Ah! They snuck in from the rear gate, sir! Damn it! They snuck in from the back! What a rotten trick! Give them hell! Yes, sir! We will repel them with our entire force! Do it now! Sir! What was that? Them. Do they think they can succeed with such a small number? I, Sir Adon, shall put an end to their lives personally! The enemy's breaking through the frost! Damn it! Those scoundrels marching in from both sides like that! Sir, we're caught between both groups. There's nothing we can do! Give us your next command, sir! We retreat! But we... I'm one of the masterminds of the Tudor Empire! I must avoid dying in vain at all costs! That's our commander. You had a raft prepared just in case. I am always prepared. It is a commander's responsibility. Huh? Please, don't leave us here! Save Take us, us please! Save us, us here! here. Oh, oh, no. 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 God. This is outrageous of you! This raft is a precious heirloom that has been handed down through the Corbelwitz family! Remove your armor, you can all swim, Vermin! My, my, that was a long walk. First I'll feed my stomach with a sumptuous meal, and then I'll have a well-deserved rest. <laughs> Your Grace, General Buscon, what a pleasure. What happened to the Black Fortress? Well, our enemy was so devious that even I was inferior in terms of underhanded trickery. Sir. So, did you just roll over and surrender the fortress? No, sir. I, I deliberately withdrew and let them occupy the fort temporarily to give us ample time to... Room, Speed! Is your minuscule brain even capable of recognizing the importance of that fortress? I thought I was doing the proper thing. I'm warning you, this is the last time I'll support you. But, General Buscon, I... A warrior is nothing without honor. Now go back and reclaim it. Sir. Uh, 
<laughs> this time I shall definitely put an end to them with the secret tactics that have been passed down to the Korbowitz family for 500 years! 500? that high-ranking female commander I've heard so much about. What's it to you? <laughs> I don't like it. At all! Women have no place playing at being knights. <sighs> You're inferior. Men are more powerful. Women are of no use in battle. Why not try me then? <laughs> What's so funny? You. I imagine you keep your men very warm at night. What? <laughs> no doubt you earn such high rank by climbing into Griffith's bed. <laughs> Indeed, if your charms are that deserving, I think I'd like to experience you myself. Uh, bastard! <laughs> the battlefield is a sacred place. It is for men, and you desecrate it. For this, I, Lord Adon, leader of the Blue Whale Super Strong Heavy Assault Knights, will punish you! <laughs> Thumb of a woman. What did you say? <laughs> What's wrong? No more ground to retreat to? Oh, look at that. I don't know why you insist on dressing like a man. You're obviously an attractive woman. Well, I will give you one chance. Surrender and be my obedient captive, and I shall spare your life. And of course, by obedient captive, I mean you'll have the high honor of being my company's whore. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm a son of a bitch, am I? Then you shall die by the blade of the one you hate! <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> What's the matter with you? Guts. <laughs> Come on, let's fight! I need it. I have to fight until the voices stop. I want to fight until I remember nothing! Enough of your babbling! You've gotten lucky, it seems, and blocked my strike. But I doubt your luck will hold twice! Let's see if you can withstand my special strike that crushes even marble to dust! 
It's a secret technique passed down 140 years through the Korbowitz family. The ultimate secret technique! Guns on Senpu! Guns and Senpu. Most impressive. <laughs> What's wrong? I've never seen you like this before. You have no concentration. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Where did this swarm of insects come from? <laughs> Looks like I found you. Ah, splendid. I'm glad you're alive. I'm glad to see you, too. You look well. Of course I do! Did you think I was dead? You sent me back some, you little bastard. And as a proud knight of Tudor, I could never die until I repaid you. <sighs> Your death won't be a quick one. You'll be my prisoner, and I'll show you what it is to live hell on Earth. You shall enjoy the secret torture technique, the hundred-year-long torment of Monzetsu Groshi. You definitely know how to hold a grudge. You can surrender quietly if you like, but if you cross us, we'll chop off your arms as well as any other limbs we like. But I'll need you alive. As for the woman, we shall make her a plaything for my troops. I seriously advise you against that. This one here is a real bitch. She'll rip you to shreds. <laughs> Oh, how dare you! Get them! <laughs> Damn it all, there are only two of them! What are you doing? All of you, attack them in one charge! <laughs> Every last one of them is incompetent! Samson! Samson! I'm here, brother! He is the assistant commander of the Blue Whale Super Strong Heavy Assault Knights. Meet Samson. He is my younger brother, as well as the second strongest warrior in my entire unit. In addition, Samson's armor is three times as thick as a normal soldier's, so he is absolutely indestructible. <laughs> On top of all that, his great flail can crush the head of a buffalo flat in a single blow. If it were to hit a man, he'd be nothing more than a pile of flesh. I'm done showing mercy. Let them know the awesome power of the Corbowitz family firsthand! <laughs> he blocked the attack! But it can't be! He beat back every blow from Samson's great flail! I see. He dare not try to dodge them because of their incredible speed. <laughs> I see the arrow wound I inflicted upon you while you protected that woman has yet to heal. <sighs> Quick, Donling! The man is injured. Finish him off quickly. No, Samson. Uh, shoot! Kill the woman. Aim for her. <laughs> you fool. You repeatedly injure yourself, and all because of some stupid woman, you simple man. Don't let her get away! Go after her and then kill her! Oh! You cowards should think about finishing your work with me first. 
before chasing after women. Mm, you bastard! Look here! Stop standing around like idiots! He's a skilled fighter, but he's still just one man! He can't resist long if you surround him! It's a hundred men to one! Get him! What the hell is he talking about? Is there no one who wants to avenge Samson? No, not really. I can't believe it! You're Knights of Judah! Actually, we're mercenaries. Hmm. <laughs> I will pay triple the amount of the reward I promised for him. Uh, no, make that five times the amount I promised. Wow. And I'll guarantee a promotion to battalion commander. <laughs> that sounds good. Uh, what are you doing? Just kill him already! Good! We've crippled his left hand! He won't be able to wield his huge sword so easily anymore! Finish him! <sighs> Unbelievable! Despite his wounds, he's beat nearly half of my hundred men! So then, he has some skill. <laughs> Don't let up! He barely has the strength to stand! Now's the chance to defeat him! <laughs> Sir Adon, heavens be praised. We were all so worried about you. I, Lord Adon, known far and wide as a resourceful and invulnerable general, could never die so easily. Anyway, that boy. If we meet on the battlefield again, I definitely won't let him get away so easily. For shame, Adon! Uh. Your Grace, General Boscon! In order to settle a personal grudge, you deployed all those mercenaries, and all you return with is the shame of utter dissemination. And worse still, your brother Samson's life was lost. You have nerve. Returning after such disgrace. No, no! Well, it is not true, Your Grace. The truth is, I'm... This is outrageous! From here on, I thoroughly divest you of your right to command in this war. You should be thankful that I'm not throwing you into the dungeon to rot. Rumor has spread that you were defeated by a single warrior. That cannot be allowed. Imagine our bad luck having to stand sentry today. Hey, what happened? The enemy? Where the hell did they come from? Could that be? Adon to the rescue. It's you. Well, I must say you are persistent. <laughs> I am well known as the indestructible Baron Adon. Inevitably, everyone bows down before my incredible vitality. I, Adon, had seen through your cheap tricks long ago. Therefore, I offered my services as castle guard, and have waited patiently as you marched ignorantly toward us. <laughs> Liar. I do not lie! Come forward! Behold! The Blue Whale Super Strong Heavy Assault Knights! I purposely left my troops inside the castle for just this occasion! Now I intend to have my revenge for our previous battle! Hear me! Do not allow any of them to escape with their lives! Charge! Ah! Let's begin. I'll avenge my brother Samson's death. I give you no quarter. You did it! 
That's our commander! How is it that your sword play is better than it was before? I wasn't exactly feeling well the last time. Bullshit! Enough of your weak excuses! Ah! At least wait till I'm finished speaking! Ah! How about shutting your mouth instead? <laughs> the enemy is weak and few in number! Don't let up! Destroy them! Ah! <sighs> How dare you? There's only one thing left to do. Forgive me! Uh, what? I beg your pardon for my lack of courtesy. Please forgive me. After all, I'm just a lowly commander following orders from the general. Myself, I never wanted to hold a grudge against you, you understand. Now, please, I offer you the castle if that's what you wish. I'm the last person who would ever stand in your way, and I graciously thank you for sparing my life. You disgust me. My clever ruse has put you off guard. Kaska! Foolish woman! That was Russia Jinrai, the secret art of the crossbow sneak attack, passed down through the Korbowitz family for a thousand years! The tip of the arrow was poison, and that poison will numb your entire body! Your days of sinful deeds are over, evil bitch! I cannot afford to play your foolish games any longer. Here? Here I come! I might be willing to keep you around as my personal toy if you were to meekly and obediently surrender now. But if you refuse... Take that! Damn it, the poison! I'm going numb! Get away from her! Well, what will you do now that you can no longer evade my blows? You'll pay for what you did to me. First I'll chop off your arms and then your legs. Then you can decide whether or not you'll be my captive, and I'll listen at my leisure. I'll start with your legs! What? Impossible! You were a fairly interesting man. In addition to being a vile, revolting bastard. Now! The rest of them are no match! Cut them down! Ah!